Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Get Curried. My travels and excursions generally take me to some of the most uncanny places to eat, of course, in India and across the globe. Today's recipe is from one such place from the Indian capital called the Qureshi Kebabs. Let's begin. For the Qureshi Kebabs, I'm using extremely fine quality of goat meat. Now generally, you always take goat meat which is from the machine. Now there are two different kinds of keemas. The first kind of keema is a hand cut or a hand chopped keema which is brilliant for making something like a keema pao. Whenever you make a um, kebab, always take keema from the machine. So this one is from the machine. It's run twice in the same machine. If you see, the quality is extremely fine. It's a combination of course of meat as well as fat. Now generally for a kebab of this kind, 10% of fat is just perfect. To this, let's add in some basic few ingredients. But before we get into the ingredient list, primarily the essence of this recipe is the smoke. So let's build up the smoke in this recipe, for which turn the flame on and place a piece of charcoal. Allow that to turn into a nice, beautiful burning ember. By that time, we'll start marinating the meat. Let's begin with chaat masala. Moving on to roasted cumin powder. Now, you can go on and on with adding the spices of your choice. You can add in all spice, you can add in garam masala, but this is one of those kebabs where the masalas are absolutely minimum, but the flavor is top notch. Let's add in just a touch of chili powder, not too much, because you do not want these to be bright red in color. Just a touch of turmeric powder. Finely chopped green chilies, grated garlic, grated ginger. I'm not using paste, mind you, because I do not want water in this recipe of any kind. Moving on to adding in chopped red onions. What you could also do is uh, grate a red onion and squeeze all the moisture out and add in the grated bits in this recipe. Juice of half a lime. Ensure that you collect all the seeds because you do not want untoward flavors in your mouth. And last but not the least, the father of all ingredients, as I say, salt. Salt in this recipe could be slightly lesser than a usual kebab because right towards the end, just before serving, you're also going to add in butter, salted butter in its melted form. So a little bit of less salt is just perfect. Let's mix this well. Just ensure that the masalas, when I say masalas, the basic spices that we've used, the salt of course, ginger, garlic, onions, chilies, are just everywhere, all over the meat mix. This is best mixed with your hands. The sign of this keema being mixed well is that you should not find any specks of color. No tinges of yellow, no tinges of red. It should just look like a nice velvety pink piece of meat. Once this is done, I'm going to spread this like so. Push this against the sides of the bowl. You can take the help of your knuckles and just push it like so. And also, with your fingers, poke in at a few places so that the smoke goes straight within and flavors the meat. Now to smoke this, I'm going to place a metal bowl right in the center of this mix. Of course the flame. I'm going to pick this piece of charcoal, which is well lit at this point in time. Place this in the center. Add in just a few drops of any oil and cover this immediately. It's important to keep this like that at least for two to three minutes so that the meat gets wonderfully flavoured. Let's uncover this. The smoke has kind of slightly settled down. Just ensure this is not hot. To remove this, keep it aside. And mix this all one last time. Well, this way, at home, or rather in your home kitchen, you can bring in the whole essence of smoke and enjoy street food at home. 
Let's take in lemon sized balls of this mixture. I'm going to take a skewer or a metal rod. I'm going to apply some water. I'm going to give it the quintessential shape of a Sikh kebab. The whole idea here is to ensure that one, the shape looks like a Sikh kebab and two, this whole cavity that you eventually get in the middle of a Sikh kebab will ensure that the kebab cooks from within. Just lock this on either sides and you need to wet your fingers and your palm and very lightly, very casually pull this out. Well, this, uh, for the ones who are doing this for the first time, could be quite a trick. Uh, another easier way is you could use a satay stick or a bamboo uh, skewer and do the same step. Um, this could be a little anti-gravity kind of a thing um, because you're literally working against gravity, but that's the beauty of a Sikh kebab. Uh, if you can manage this, nothing like it. Otherwise, you could just make croquets and that's about it. See, where you could go wrong, uh, if I can possibly gauge, is uh, if you clump too much um, on one side and then if you kind of lace it with a little bit of laziness, then it may just fall off or drop off. But if you just divide the weight like so, then be perfect. Let's move on to the next step and that is cooking this or rather pan searing this for which I'm going to heat a pan on high flame. Let's add in a little bit of oil. Now if you of course have uh, an open flame in the house or an electric tandoor in the house, this could be cooked on that or in that. But what I'm doing is I'm pan cooking this. Let's place this very gently. While cooking these kebabs, the flame needs to be high because what would happen is the outsides would get beautifully seared on high flame. The moment you reduce the flame, the moisture from the meat would start releasing and you do not want that to happen because otherwise you'll just end up with like a soupy broth or a soupy mix and you do not want that, especially while making these kebabs. Now very carefully, we need to flip this and just turn it on the other side. Now this is a technique called roll frying. We are literally rolling it and ensuring that it's getting fried on all the sides. Now the bottom is done. Now we give it a turn. So let's cook this side and then we turn it again and then we move on and on and on till all the four sides are done and ready. After a few rounds of rolling and cooking, our Qureshi kebabs are done and ready. Just ensure that the meat is cooked through and through. And that will actually happen because one, we are applying heat, we also have oil. So it's going to be like a kebab and a tiki, you know, that kind of a cooking technique. And plus, the skewer also ensured that it's hollow from within. So it's bound to get cooked. This is done and ready. With this, off goes the flame. And here I'm adding in a little bit of cream and butter. Just melt it and lace it up like so. Allow that to sizzle and start melting. In the same pan, I'm adding in onions, some lemons, some chutney. Make this for your family, make this for your friends and ensure you make Qureshi kebab in your home this time. Bye for now.